Victoria will become the first Australian state to boast a public hospital dedicated solely to treating heart patients. Taxpayers will foot the bill after the government failed to attract federal funding, but the Premier says it's an investment in saving lives. Charlotte Shea's heartwarming smile masks a tough start to life. At five days old, had her first open heart surgery. She'll need lifelong cardiac care and will now receive it at a new Victorian heart hospital. This hospital will be phenomenal for, for our family and, and many families like ours. The facility will be the first standalone cardiac hospital in the country. The state government tried but failed to attract federal funding, so decided to go it alone, chipping in an extra $320 million. This is exactly the right investment to make to save lives, to change lives. Monash Health and Monash University will also contribute money and brain power. The existing Monash Heart Service will relocate to the new facility. And what this does is allow us to grow our service and replace it and modernise it. We can provide medical research from bench side to bedside and it will also train the future clinicians that will be working in this space. Flynn Titherley will be a patient and hopes to benefit from its future medical breakthroughs. So this, this research is absolutely fantastic for that reason. The opposition says the government should have stuck to its election promise to establish the hospital at the existing Monash Medical Centre. Extra cardiac services are definitely needed, um, but this is a massive blowout and a cost to taxpayers to deliver what should have been delivered more cheaply. The hospital is due to open in the university grounds in 2022. Kate Jones, 7 News.